All right, so I think that the obvious first question is brain and brain. Where did the name come from and which brain are you? <laughs> So it's actually a Star Trek reference. Oh. Um, it's, an, it's an original series episode where this alien woman says, brain and brain, what is brain? And it always made us laugh. We usually say I'm the right brain, so the creative half. Um, but I guess lately it's, it's kind of been more of a combination of the two for both of us. Well, if there is two parts to the brain, they of course work together, right? Mm -hmm. Talk about that dynamic and, and kind of break down what you guys do uh, you know, individually that then you can combine together. So I'm the creative half, which includes art and animation. For our second game and first, I did writing and game design, which is kind of um, how the game is shaped and, and how the player experiences it. David is the programmer. He also writes the game on the, the current game we're working on. I know it's a husband-wife team, but you know, you get your inspirations from different places and where do those come from? Um, Oliver, this is Oliver. Oh, this is Oliver. Well, said? actually, I said all over, but oh. Oliver, Oliver actually inspired our first game. Were you the inspiration uh. for the first game? <laughs> which the first game is? It's called Doggins. It's an adventure game, a traditional one that is about a dog who dreams he goes to the moon, inspired by his curiosity and weirdness. <laughs> and the fact that you know he looks nothing like an astronaut, but we'll just go with it. You're an inspiration to the first game, so you know, and then and then that's you never know where it's going to come from. Yeah, our second game was actually a name first. It's called Burly Men at Sea. We came up with the name randomly and thought, oh, that would make a great game once we started to make games. And so the story itself is inspired by Scandinavian folklore. Um, you play as three big bearded men who play through um, adventures at sea. So three games in 10 years, you know, that's a lot, but it also takes some time to make these things, you know, yeah. talk about the process. They're always a little different. I think we're, we're getting the hang of it as we go more and more. The first game we thought would take us three months and it ended up taking two years. A lot of it is just first figuring out the concept of the game, what it's going to be like to play, um, the story that goes into that, because story is very important to us. A couple more questions. What's it like to be able to live in an area that you love, Northwest Arkansas, and still be able to do what you want to do? Um, obviously, this can accommodate that. The outdoors are really important to us, so, so the, the nature and like getting to have adventures here has really inspired our work as well. Um, and then it's been fun to be part of a small and growing community of other developers who we've met here. So, brain and brain, I asked her the same thing, which brain are you? I am the left brain, so I'm the programming half of the team. In fact, sometimes I would put that on my name tag for conferences, left brain. Um, I, I stopped doing that now, but <laughs> the name of our studio, Brain and Brain, it comes from a legendarily bad Star Trek episode. It's widely known as the worst episode. Of, it always cracked us up because it's just so bad, and in, in a great way. Right. We wanted a creative outlet together. You know, we were, we tried to work together on, on our individual projects. I was doing film, she was doing graphic design, and it was always sort of peripheral. We didn't really know a good way to, to do something together and to build something together. We were kicking around for a long time, like the the ideas that of things that we could do together, but nothing clicked until one day at Pixar, where I was working, I saw a screening of a, a documentary called Indie Game the Movie. And it's all about independent game developers and how you can make really great products, really great games with just a small team of one or two people. And so I saw that movie at lunch and I went back to my desk and I sent Brooke a message. I just said, we're going to make a game together. And she wrote back, OK. And that was the start of the studio. So we took the name, which we already had, Brain and Brain, and we applied it to this new venture. You know, I, I'm really fascinated by the husband-wife team thing. Is it, What's that dynamic like? Do you guys ever argue about a game? Um, you know, what's that whole thing like? It's been an exploration. We're still kind of sorting out how best to work together, but it's really rewarding to be able to, to really share. So often you, you work in different fields and you come home and you can say a few things about like what, what your day was like. But for us, we, we share everything. You know, we work side by side at this desk, and <laughs> which sometimes you know, we can just like lean over and be like, hey, well, you know, give me this art file. I'm, I need it now. Or hey, did you fix that thing? Right. You know, it's, it's almost too close. But, but that's part of the fun too and the reward. One of the difficulties in working together is just shutting it off. We try to have an unwritten rule of not talking about work after work's over. Like we, we, we go walk our dog at the end of the day every day and we try not to talk about work. And it's very hard because it's so intertwined with our life, yeah. you know? So of course we got to see the finished product. Which game are we going to play today? We are playing Burly Minute C on the Nintendo Switch. So All right. All there's right. your controller. Right. Now you realize it's been a long time. I've never even actually played Switch, if you can believe it. <laughs> 
And you drew all this. <laughs> yes. That's so cool. And animated it all, yeah. That is crazy. She did it all, everything you see. And she wrote it all too, everything you read as well. That's nuts. I just made it all work. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually controlling them by controlling the environment. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Which is kind of different. Most games aren't so that way. So if I shut it down, they'll stop. Yep. All right. Yeah, I've never played a game where you do it by the environment like this. That's cool. Yeah, we were a little nervous about that because we hadn't really played one like that either. <laughs> I did to, to take it more from the you playing as the characters and make it more you playing as the storyteller. So you're sort of framing everything around the character. Great. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just got eaten by a whale. This is biblical. <laughs> this okay, is so we're inside the belly of a whale you're in right the now. Belly of the beast. So we're like Jonah. Hanging out. Okay. And this is where your adventure proper begins. And okay. where the story starts to branch. Right, so the game is built around a series of choices. So from now on, you're going to get all sorts of different choices that determine how the story goes. All right. but they're all discoverable choices. It doesn't ask you anything or tell you anything. You just have to discover what you can do. So it's really uh, something you can dig in as deep as you want to on. Yeah, and keep playing over and over and keep trying new things. And you'll yeah. see whole new parts of the story. And then behind you, I see Zelda. but. I've solved Zelda when I was a kid. Can you actually finish these games, and what's you that can. like? You can. Okay. okay. Yep. So you can go just... on all of your adventures, and there's 12 total. Okay. We that... didn't actually expect people to play all of them when we released the game, but it turns out they do. They play, they all, play all of them. <laughs> well, this is so cool because you not only is it, you know you get to pick your own adventure basically is right. what is what I like about yeah. it you know because personally here. I would just go ahead and go, forget the ship. Ah, okay, okay. So, yeah, that's, that's how we want people to that's play. That's rebel without a cause, right? <laughs> <laughs>